Yeah, they come out, come out to a TV show. I suppose I would have done that, but they've got me now, I'm quite used to it now, so uh, I'm looking forward to spread the word of the league down south. We won more games, to be honest, you know, if I'm brutally honest, um, we, need, we need to come up with a good turn. Um, you've seen what happened to Rugby Union and the cricket when they won the Ashes and won the World Cup in 2003. I think the international team could win something this year or win the World Cup. I think it would take off massively, but I think the game needs bigger exposure to make more of the, the stars of the game, people like Sam Tompkins. People like these, we need to make these household names. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, yeah, it was a good questions, good interview, and uh, it's good to do it. You enjoy it? Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, very good. And uh, obviously, rugby league's very important to the BBC. You know, you've come down here today. They've invited you down, and they're going to put your interview on the website, on the television, etc. Yeah, it's good to um, see what's going on down here. Good to, you don't realise how many people actually work behind the programmes um, for Five Live and stuff. So, yeah, it was good to do the interview. You're looking forward to your, your next interview now. I think we're going over to yeah, Talk Sport. Yeah, Talk Sport should be interesting. I, I don't listen to it myself, but Jimmy Laws has been telling me all about it, so I think he's more excited than I am, to be honest. I am looking forward to the new season. It's a brilliant game. I mean, it's one of those games that is always moving forward, always innovative. You turn on Sky, you so rarely see, you know, if it's a blowout, obviously it might not be as good, but they're usually close and usually really exciting. I did. We always, Steve O comes in every year. We always enjoy chatting to him. He's a big part of it with Eddie, of course. Their, their commentary is fantastic. They're a great team, and you know, TRY for mine and all that stuff. I love it. <laughs> it is. You know, we, we, obviously we try and cover every sport. It's talk sport, and we, there's a big fan base that loves rugby league, but also likes football as well. So you know, it's important for us not to forget them. Do you follow any club in particular? Wigan, my glory hunter. I mean, it tends to be, I think I say, it tends to be a northern thing, doesn't it? And I mean, it's very well uh, supported at, at those grounds. I mean, you see the whole games, you, know, you see Leeds and Bradford uh, and Castleford and all them sort of games, they're fantastic. Um, and, and when you watch one live, that's when you uh, realise uh, what sort of sport it is and how physical it is. And it's an amazing to watch some of the hits. I always look out for the Salford Red score, you know, and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, our time will come. The only thing is that they say that every time Salford have won the, uh, the Challenge Cup uh, final, there's been a war, so uh, <laughs> I hope, thankfully, we've not won one. Are you, are you watching a bit of the Super League? On oh, I love the Super League, yeah, it's absolutely great, you know, it's, uh, and it's, it, I, I, you know, a lot of people at first were saying, well, playing in the summer, you know, but uh, I think it's a great game, and it's so cool you know and uh, great skill and Alec Murphy was a great old friend of mine you know and I remember those days and uh, I still speak to Mick Philbin he used to play on the wing for Warrington all that many years you wouldn't remember him you're too young but uh, no 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 I love rugby league it's a great game yeah it was good yeah it was good to be um, do that meet a few presenters yeah Nice to see the, the inner workings of a, of a television studio. It's not often you get, get a chance to have a wander around. Yeah, I think that's been um, probably the best bit of the day, really, getting to see how everything goes on. And you see there's a lot more that goes on than you actually see on the screen. I'm just mentioning that it's such a, such a modern newsroom, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You can tell Sky's um, a new, vibrant company. I mean, it's about 20 years old. Uh, but you can tell that. You can tell that in the productions. You can see that uh, wait when you're about the place now. You still find it a little bit strange when you're, when you're turning your telly tomorrow morning and see yourself on? No, nah, no. Nah. You can't, well, you've got to get past that. I think the kids find that more strange. They're wondering what I'm doing when I'm on the TV. It's just part of, it, part and part of playing rugby now. Well, we decided to arrange a day with England caps, and it was important for us to try and get major cut through with the, the media in London. So we started with a number of interviews with the BBC, including BBC Sport Online and the BBC News Channel, which goes across the world. And that was great exposure for the game. Further, later in the day, we, we also did um, a live with Sky Sports News and, and uh, a pre-record interview with Sky's News, which goes obviously around the world. And it was a great opportunity for Jamie to sit down with, with Steve-O from Sky Sports and, and preview the season. Um, we got some tremendous coverage out of it and some great awareness for the competition. We believe there's about 250 million people that actually watched all the clips um, across the day, which is phenomenal exposure for the sport and something that the sport really needs going forward.